Okay, we're gonna find out how hard this is to set up the Mercury HD 1080p night vision camera. So let's get into it. Okay, you gotta get this Genie app, step one. Okay, after not being able to find the, the SD card in there, I thought maybe it was the camera and uh, and then I thought, well, maybe it just needs formatted, so I put it back in the adapter. And uh, when I took it out, I came back to get it out. It was like so hot, it burned my finger instantly. And uh, the camera smelled like burnt plastic almost. And uh, so then I let it cool off for a second, then stuck it in my computer and it didn't detect it. And, uh, and then I took it out after just a few seconds and it burned my finger again, like it was red hot almost. Um, so some of these SD cards are just no good from the, from the store, I guess. Okay, here's a good tip for you. Uh, this micro SD card, the slot is actually closer in. <clears throat> It'll get jammed in there and you won't be able to get it out. Um, <clears throat> only reason it looks like you can get it out right now is used my <clears throat> handy dandy pocket knife without stabbing myself and uh, was able to pop it. No, maybe it's not glued. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Yeah, you don't want to take it all the way off. Now there's just four clips, and then there's a wire to the speaker. Yeah, so you can pop it off, but not all the way because this you'll rip the speaker wire. Let's see. Okay, this slot is actually right there. I bet a lot of people are making this mistake. <clears throat> I'm gonna try putting it in before I put the back back on. Yeah, and it is spring loaded. Okay, it clicks in. That's the way it goes in. This is a 32 gig card. Not sure how many gigs it accepts. Okay, now I'm gonna pop the back back on. Well, that's good. At least you can take that off. Didn't really mark it up too bad. <clears throat> now the back's on. Wait a sec. Well, that's strange. Maybe I had it right in the first place. Because it is all the way out, but it looks like there's another slot closer. Let me try this real quick. I'll push it down with the screw. Yeah, it is close, closer than... So actually, I guess I had it right. Let's see. <clears throat> but my fingernail is not long enough, so I push it down with the screw till it clicks. See, you can hear it click. Now to remove it, I'll need a screw, I guess. Well, that's actually kind of good for security. Okay, I just wanted to add, I put the that new SD card in there. The old one was bad. Um, it did, uh, with some continuous motion, um, recorded for a couple minutes, um, like all the way through, instead of, I had another camera that would record for like 30 seconds or something, um, different brand, uh, older. But this one, it looks like if it keeps seeing motion, then um, it uh, will continuously record, so. Looks pretty good. I'm not sure. Um, I need to read up on how long it records for after motion. Um, I didn't see that in the in the manual, but it, it may be there. Anyway, hopefully uh, the, this video helps. It seems to be working good now. So if you buy some new SD cards and it's not detecting when you hit record um, or playback, it says like playback video on the app and nothing happens, says no SD card, and you just put a new one in there. Maybe a bad SD card like mine, and when you take it out, it's gonna be burning hot. Um, yeah, it could be dangerous, actually, because this thing smelled like like burnt hot plastic. I mean, it like my finger still burns from it. That's how hot it was. So anyway, hope this helps. Okay, I did wanna mention this. Uh, I put a 32 gig SD card, micro SD in there, but it does support up to 128 gig, which is really surprising. Um, that's quite a bit. Um, and it does record over itself. I read that 
in the instructions, I think, or maybe in the help in the app. But that's pretty good. So, but anyway, the 32 is working out good. I didn't have to format it or anything. I just stuck it in there. All right. Thanks. Yeah, and I'm not sure what speed. It's just it's just the the cheapo, um, you know, 32 gig seems to be working. So I don't know what the read write speed is. Just the basic. Nothing fancy.